There can only be one for tonight. And the star performer for tonight is, is the winner is Sananana. And for eloquence, it goes to. In today's episode, we are going to learn about storytelling. Each delegate is going to tell us about their region through storytelling. Let's find out how they did in today's episode, shall we? my friend's wedding one day i saw two of my neighbors seriously arguing nura from the northern region started with a very good energy however she was laughing too much during her speech so i would be very much happy to see her next week to learn more about her region because this episode she educated us about the relationship between the ashantis and the dagombas but for her to start, I could understand the tension in order. So please vote for her so that we could learn more from her region. It's like that, manage it like that. Hey, how can you tell me that? Do you know where the salt originates from? Titiaka from the Savannah region was very audible and her story was very engaging, which made me feel like I was on stage with her. I loved her performance right from the beginning to the end and i'd love to see more from her region so keep your votes coming in for her as well now from the greater accra region told us the story of how the Ga Adamri fought against the Ashanti kingdom in the Dodowa forest. However, her costume to me was very lovely and the story was captivating of the guns and I would love to see more of her next week. You see how time flies. Now it is time for me to pass on to my nanano. Next delegate is uh, Sarah from the Western region. She educated us about the story about the great Nzimakan and how he led his people against the Europeans. At the end of her storytelling, she it was fun to watch her and I think you should keep it up and she will go far. What? Yes, seven months, seven weeks, seven days. Yeah. Now we have a half a region's Amwani Ma, who also educated us about the story of a comfort buffer who acquired seven dreadlocks after being held captive by dwarves for seven years, seven months, seven weeks, and seven days. And in my opinion, her performance was great. She sold her story of her region that night and I believe she deserves to be in the in a competition. Oh from the Bono East region educated us about the conflict that prompted Nana Chiyao to leave the Techiman Royal Residence and found the Chima settlement. In my opinion, she has a very nice mouth. Her presentation wasn't that bad. However, I believe she can do better. So please keep her in the competition by voting for her because I'd love to see her next week. We have Benawa from the Western North region. She also made us to know about a Jaco Ingwa who found a giant tortoise that has the mystery to preserving the moo forest. Her performance 
was very good she utilized the stage her costume was very traditional to my best of knowledge and was beautiful however i agree with what auntie jane said she can do better Salom from the Volta region made us aware about the story of Mama Yakba disguising herself as a mad woman to wreak havoc in the British camp. And also, what I think about her performance is that she was very confident when she was delivering her story and she really nailed her story as well. I love the way she made us aware about her region and also she has a very beautiful smile her costume was on point keep it up Silo. a tick region olila made us aware about something extraordinary of her culture from the oti region and her performance was very nice to me i think she was giving me some gangster african style and i really loved what she did on stage i think she can do more so please kindly vote for her Soloma or Soloma? Soloma. you respond Soloma, which means story story Soloma or Soloma? Soloma. Soloma or Soloma? Soloma. we have Adia Nij from the Upper East region. She also made us aware about the native of Upper East region on how they pronounce their names with the capital A and the meanings too as well. It, overall, I think she was very poised. Her performance was very interactive as well and I think she should keep it up. I would love to see more of her from her region. <laughs> We have Ibo from the Ashanti region. I think her Kente story was very educative. She made us aware about the whole story behind the Kente and how the weaving procedure and everything and I think she did justice to that story so I would love to see her in the next episode <laughs> We have Winnie from Northeast who made us aware about a great warrior who died and resurrected as a Boabab tree. I think her performance was intriguing. I like the way she involved the audience in her performance. Her chanting was so unique and I think you should keep it up and I would love to see her in the next episode. What is young pa? Once upon a time, they will leave the man called Pome. We have Chimua from the central region who shared her story on the Komen who led the fantasies from Tichiman to Iguafo. First of all, let's admire her African outfit. I loved it. She was also eloquent and audible. She had a very educative storyline. Her ending was as striking as her intro. However, in all, she was adorable to watch. Keep voting for her. Last but not the least, we have Sang Suma from the Upper West region who made us aware of the story of how Naogura mysteriously disappeared and why Wana are forbidden from entering Mangut Township. In all, I enjoyed her performance and I think she was poised to as well. I love the way she made us to be involved in her story. She was very interactive and I think you should keep it up. I'd love to see more of her. Mutasa, I was coming to tell you about our festival. But that is not the case. Fast and fun to me. Hey, fast and fun to me. A free year from the Eastern region 
also educated us about the story of why the Quehus dare not eat or kill fish from the Pra River. In all, I think her energy was unmatched on that night. I really enjoyed her performance. Her costume was given and everything was given. So I'd love to see more of her in the next episode. So keep voting for her. Tonight, my story is about the Adinkra symbols and how it came about. <laughs> A horn and quine power, a horn and the annual. A mammy panty, Macobono. In a town called Jaman in the Bunu region was a king called Nanako Fiedinkra. A Dinkra is a Bunu language which means farewell. And so a Bunu man will say, Minini Dinkra which means I bid him farewell yesterday. Last delegate from the region was Kwatima from the Puno region. And according to me, her performance was on point. Her costume was very interesting. So I wasn't surprised when she was nominated for the best costume. Her content was marvelous. She really made us to understand the story behind the Edinkra symbol in a very jovial way and I would love to see more from her in the other episode. Ah, I've loved every bit of tonight. It was so fascinating and sensational. Mm -hmm. But it's a competition, right? Yes. Ah. So there will be winners and there will be... Four names came up. There were no big differences between the scores. It tells you how competitive it was. So the first one on my list here is Kwa Tima. Oh, come on, clap for her. The next lady is Na Ayele. Salam. And Sang Suma. I think they all deserve a round of applause. So the winner is the winner is Sananana Kwatima. Kwatima wins best costume. Congratulations, Kwatima. And they are all very, very eloquent. We have three names. Na Ayele. <laughs> Kwatima. Kwatima again. Okay. And then Salom. Hey. <laughs> and for eloquence, it goes to. What did you say? Na Ayele. Na Ayele. Where's most eloquent? Do my thing for me. Let let Cookie and Anita worry small. Okay. So for star performer, we have three names. Kwatima. Kwatima again. Okay. Salam. And then Nayeli. Ah. There can only be one for tonight. And the star performer for tonight is, is, is Salam. the night every single evictee every single lady who will be going home or saying goodbye to the competition 
We'll be getting 5,000 worth of exercise books from Heaven and Exercise Spray and Mosquito Coil. And so a big round of applause for Heaven, giving our ladies 5,000 exercise books to go back to their regions and donate to their school of choice or whatever they want to do with the books. Of course, they will be giving it to uh, some needy kids who will need these books. And so thank you.